What's up everybody? We are back with another quick education video. And um, I'm gonna be talking about a trade that I'm looking at for NZD USD, which is pretty much New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar. Now, um, I'm gonna try and get through this analysis pretty quick. <coughs> but um, basically, what I have here is I drew this uh, horizontal support. And now uh, we can see this is where price was kind of supporting along this consolidation. But we can see that price actually broke through now using this as resistance. So we can see we have a trend line, a descending trend line, which is pretty much a downturn. And um, right here we have another horizontal support line, which is pretty much where price was, you know, pretty much bouncing off of, but it finally broke through, which means that this previous support line is now resistance. So like I said, we have the resistance. Yeah, we have resistance right here, resistance right here. But we also have this decent and trend line. Now, being that we have this decent and trend line, we also have a, a ascending trend line. Now, what I'm looking for here is like I see I can see that price made an M formation, and it came down to this level. So this is our swing low, and we can see that price is now coming up to this previous <clears throat> horizontal resistance zone. And uh, if you look close, price is actually wicking. You know, it's pretty small wick, but we can see that price is kind of rejecting off of the 618 level. So pretty much what this means is it's looking like price should go ahead and respect the level. Now, pretty much what I'm going to look for is being that this is an information and we're looking for a retest. Um, pretty much what we'll see here is we'll go to the 15 minute time frame and we'll look for pretty much something like this to play out. We'll see that price is moving up. And you might see a little bit of market movement or whatever, but our our general rule of thumb is we'll be looking for the uh, M and a retest to the 618 level on the Fib line. Okay, now we'll enter on that level and that should be our reversal. <clears throat> now, the thing I really like about this trade is it has a bunch of confluences to it. Now, for those who don't know what confluence is, is that's pretty much the reason you enter a trade. So if you're on support and you buy, your confluence will be that you're on support. So right here, we have actually a few reasons to enter this trade, which is pretty much what's going to make your trade seem more accurate and what's going to give you more confidence in your trades. Now, in my opinion, the more confluences you build, the more successful you could be as trading. Okay, because the reason of is that if you have a lot of confluences, this is also kind of keep your emotions at a low level while trading because you won't have to worry about trade possibly not going your way if you already have a bunch of reasons to enter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all every single reason I enter. Okay, first reason, decent in trend line. Price has been respecting, as you can see right here, bounce off the trend line. Right here, bounce off the trend line. And we're just looking for a third touch. So that's our first reason, okay? Second reason is price is on the ascending trend line and it's coming up to this previous uh, support level, which is now resistance. So that's the second reason. Third reason, we have an in formation and price is coming up and it actually made a small wick to the 618 level. Okay, that is a third reason to enter the trade. So being that it's more than one reason for me to just blindly enter this trade, it's giving me more confidence to take it and it's pretty much making it a high accuracy setup. So just right there is three reasons. Um, as you can see, the more the more confluences you build, it's pretty much the the better outcome your trade will usually, you know, usually your trade will come out better. So uh, that's pretty much what I'm looking at, guys. I'll be looking to take a sell on an NZD USD anywhere from this six one eight to anywhere around this uh, decent and trend line. Now, if price decides to come up a little bit more. <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll make sure I don't get caught in any fake breakouts. And another thing that can happen is the M could form on the 15 minute and it'll look like a potential breakout, but really it'll just come down, retest the line, break through, and that'll go just like that. So like I said, we built up about three confluences for the trade. So overall, a pretty good reason to enter. Um, another thing I can see happening is the M on the 15 minute comes down retest the uh, ASIN and trend line and price comes down. So this is a one to three uh, risk trade. Reason I have my stop loss up here is because this is the decent and trend line. 
uh, significant level. So we're going to want to have a stop loss above that level. And take profit is going to be around these previous lows. And that's what we're looking to, you know, take price. This is a one to three risk trade. Um, it's a longer term setup. I probably won't hold it all the way down here. I'll probably just be looking to catch a smaller move of about 50 to 80 pips, depending on how the trade comes out. But um, that's pretty much what I'm looking at for NZD USD. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all learned something from this. Make sure to keep an eye out for this if you haven't. Um, potentially, you can catch about 300 pips, 389. Um, but if price reaches these lows, you'd overall be one to close somewhere in this area. So uh, yeah, like I said, I'm aiming for about 50 to 80. But uh, if you have the patience, if you're willing to you know, hold your trades for a longer term, then you could definitely catch more pips. But uh, like I said, um, this is my analysis on NZD USD. Hope you guys enjoy and make sure to have a blessed week.